Hi guys, Ghost here, and today we're playing Paranormal Entities. Uh, apparently it's spooky. The comments said it got a lot of jump scares. I'm about it. I don't like jump scares, but let's get into it. Okay, we're just get jumping into this apparently. and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. So this game has not been uh, nice to me. So I have to be careful where I'm clicking because it's, even though it's in full screen mode, the mouse still like rolls off the fucking the side of the screen onto my other screen for like OBS and all that, so I gotta be careful. Do you know? Lovely. Okay. We're just gross. Nice, the door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. Yeah, I can. Oh, so can I. Behind me, St. Augustine's asylum for the mentally <laughs> It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, that's a lot of people. Was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. In the end, this place was sort of against what the Bible is supposed to teach. I mean, there was no love here, no grace, no healing. The patients were not here. To Can I record? You shut your mouth, cl Oh no, I'm Cliff. They shove those with non-threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate to society. Me, with I'm inappropriate. Psychopaths and murderers and other violent monsters, and basically said, "Let God sort it out." The atrocities in here are just too much to count. The death toll was unreal. The violence, the disease, the abuse. Nobody cared. And once you came to this place, you never left. There's a door. You can't just walk out the front door. Oh, I didn't expect that to work. This is where the hundred hallways patients would convene, and we heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care. Then the war hit, and the depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. Okay. Ruby stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention. By the end, 150 patients were passing this room. I went out. <laughs> being attacking each other at random, flaying themselves with metal wires from their bed. Be careful where you step. Alright, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder, and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to- They are now in my body. Or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Hello? Okay, play that back. Let us know that you're here. Uh, nothing. All right, I thought something was going to scream into my ear, and baby, when I tell you, I was ready. <laughs> Maybe? Oh. Alright, alright, let's try this. Ghosts of St. Augustine, please let us know that you are still Why does it jerk like that? That's weird. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. Just give us a sign. Look, I'm not gonna shit on the game. I'm not gonna Tell do it. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. Speak! Speak! Alright, check that. Okay. Now into this microphone. <laughs> Let's try one more spot. Fuck off. <laughs> try to walk here. Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up or piss off. Bitch! Prick. Bitch! Show up or piss off! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Alright, alright, looks like we got an investigation. Alright, I 
want you to go down the morgue hallway, and we're going to continue our investigation in the other gathering area. <laughs> this guy's a prick! Oh, see, look, I'm... Go all the way to the left. Keep sliding off the, the game. Is this the morgue hallway? Oh. Is this the morgue hallway? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the e-social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. No! Into the center and we will begin. How? Oh, why? Why? I forgot where we were going. Oh, that's... Gross. Gross. Yeah, no. I don't know where we're going. I wasn't listening. That's my fault. <laughs> this is the entrance to patient cell 200 through 219. Eh, we're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Not necessarily dangerous, but it could be a challenge for society. Dang, the door's locked. That sucks. <laughs> oh, well, where do I go? The peeper. You'd think you'd be a pervert with a nickname, the peeper, but the truth is far. You take out all. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a memer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. He came here to the legal loopholes, and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. That's the that's on you. If you let someone convince you to take your eyeballs out, dumb. Dumb. Blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked too. Hmm. Let's just start the ceremony. Spirits inside this asylum. We know that you fucking excuse me <laughs> from your restraints. Come forward and live again. This person is no longer shielded from the realm of the dead. May be seen, interact, and manipulate him in any way. Oh, there's more! Oh, mama. Mama. Hello. Uh, don't just stand there. Go, go check it out. No! You check it out! This bitch is in my ear. Hello? I'm here to let y'all out. Baby Jesus. I take no negative energy from this video. Not this game, not this video. No negative energies. No negative energies. Jesus. Oh! I don't want to go in there. Oh! I didn't get scared. You got scared. Get scared. Ex I like getting mad. What's in here? Oh, who what face was that? <laughs> okay. I see how this game's gonna be. Oh, I see you in there. What up, baby? Can I touch your butt? Can I touch your butt? Hey. Hey.
Oh shit, I got... I would like to run, but I can't. Hello? Alright, get out of this hallway and, and take, a, take your second right. There's a, there's a staircase. Take the staircase up to the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way, so, so go up the staircase. I'm going. This is a pretty staircase. I thought it was going to be metal. What the fuck? I went up the staircase like you said. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. I bet you not. I almost fell off that. Um, excuse me? Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. No, it was not. This place doesn't even have a basement. What the... What, what is going on? I would like the net. I just... I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get my mouse back on my screen. I'm spooked. Can you stop? There's. No. No. Supernatural taught me not to step in those. Y'all confused? I'm surely confused. Oh, don't tell me I have to turn around. Another door. That candle wasn't lit. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Okay. You want me to step in the circle? Okay. It was not this big before. Ah, that's what she said. Doors open. I would like to leave without the jump scares. Hello. Well, oh, this is fun. Oh, oh, don't see no eyes. Don't see. Excuse me? Oh, I know this is gonna be a jump scare.
<laughs> um. Ah. Okay, now I'm scared. Okay, now I'm scared. Okay, now I'm scared. I clicked off my thingy again. Okay. Okay. Well, I would like to know how we got here. Alright, confession time. Uh, it's about the eyes. I kind of hid this from you. There's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that Clive was more than just a mere man. And uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day. You know, rampant hallucinations that progressively got worse. But at night, he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive. But whenever he opened them, Clive would be there waiting for him and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork and he blinded himself. <laughs> and while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire take a hospital to be free and safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesight too. The pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. Oh, sorry. So. Try to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. Okay. Sure will. Fight. Don't be a bitch. Damn flashlight broke. How did you know that? Can you see what... Fucking excuse me? Hello? Okay, when this good? Wow. Oh. Okay. 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 I can't run. I can only slightly walk. <laughs> Barely. Barely. I'm not even gonna look behind me. Yeah, I am. This a the Bible. I ain't gonna get these are my eyeballs, bitch. Oh, crap. Uh, you got a choice. Either he gets you, or you're, you're gonna have to cut him out. No. It's just a ghost. No. Bring it, bitch. Hey, Can eat my ass. You don't scare me, bitch. I'm not gonna do all that. Holy crap! I can't believe it. That was the most disturbing, terrifying, and greatest paranormal footage that has ever been taken in the history of television. Oh my god, Tom. We're going to win an Emmy. We might be on talk shows. Paranormal entities, movies, spin-offs, freaking coffee mugs, and kid shows. Holy crap. Kid oh shows. God. Kid shows. Oh, yeah. Kid shows. Hey, excuse me? <laughs> I'm not going in there. Are you going to go in there? I'm not going in there. Hell no, 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 no. I mean, we don't even know where he is in that hospital. The 
camera's black. He's not responding. I don't see anything. Do you? No. No, no. We're getting out of here. And, uh, anyways, another crazy thing about this. He needs to collect his money, too. And I don't think he's going to be coming here anytime soon. So, so we, we basically got all this footage for free, dude. Let's just start the band up. Let's get the hell on out of here. We've been in here for, I don't know, a couple hours, just a little bit too long. I'm a little sore. I need to stretch out. And my very wealthy friend, you, are starting to stink. All right, I'm going to do it. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did, did you hear that? Did you, did you hear that? Shh. Listen, listen. Clad gum, get ya. Clad gum, get ya. That, that Come closer. That was outside the truck, right? Um, Better go. Listen. Shh. I see you now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for playing. Please leave a review on the page to let me know how you thought about this game. My name is Al Heck, and I made this game in 10 days for the Scream Jam 2020 event. My friend John and I founded GameDevHQ.com. That. We believe game development is an amazing skill and a great tool to tell stories. If you ever want to learn how to build a video game, we would love to show you how. This entire game. That's cool. What was it? I'm done. Rude. But I liked it. It was cheesy as hell. But I liked it. It got me a couple times. Did it get you? Let me know in the comments. I want to know if you got scared too. I know I'm not the only one. But leave a like. And if you feel like it, subscribe. To see more shows. 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 Videos. Videos. Like this one. Ring that little bell. So you know when more videos are posted. But other than that, you have a great day.